guys. Guys. All come to the front, please. All come to the front. Who knows what that is? OK, so this was on most people's um, uh, food diaries, right? Now, what's, what's one of the reasons for buying processed or frozen foods? Quick. Easy. Cheap. Quick. 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 OK, cheap. easy, quick, cheap. OK, this is basically two squid. Two squid for southern fried chicken dips. I want you to count the amount of ingredients from here to there. Just One, count the ingredients four. out loud. One, two, three, four. So five, easier, six, seven, quicker, eight, cheaper, yeah? Nine, That's ten, the deal. Eight, That's why you're buying into this stuff, yeah? yeah. Right. And it tastes good. Don't taste that good though. Talk out loud, out loud. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 40, 41, 42, 40. 44. Okay. <laughs> How many ingredients in there, guys? 44. Okay. How much chicken? I want to. You, you're buying chicken, yeah, 20%. Or something. Okay. So what's the rest? Ah, that's the question, Tiger. That's the question. <laughs> no, but seriously, if it's 54% chicken, <laughs> what is the rest? Where's the 46? Okay. So there's 46 ingredients. 54% chicken. How much is it, brother? Two pounds. Two pounds. Pound. Okay. Guess what, guys? Wait for wait. This is the, this is going to make the same amount of nuggets, okay? Right. Making nuggets. To start off with, that's two pound. This is one pound ninety, fresh. I bet it don't take ten minutes. Okay. She said it don't take ten minutes. How long does it take to bake those nuggets from frozen to cooked? Fourteen to sixteen minutes. Okay. That's not even cooked Listen. when it's that much. You got to do it for longer. They lie because they're half cooked when you cook it. Okay. Long so let me introduce you to the kind of world of fallacy and rubbish that is fast food, convenience food. 16 minutes, they're saying. You're saying more, OK? I will do this in under 10 minutes, easily. Two pound, this is, for the same weight. This is, you know, RSPCA freedom food chicken, eggs, flour, breadcrumbs, and this is one pound 90. It's 10 pence cheaper. I'm going to do it in half the amount of time. And this is, do you think this is better for you or that? No, I don't know. OK, so when you buy chicken, what do you no, want? Chicken. chicken. OK, so you're getting half the chicken. I'm going to give you total chicken. Right, now listen, here's the deal, right? This is one of the things that we're going to do. First of all, what do we do with this? Okay. If, it ain't, if it ain't quicker, if it ain't cheaper, what do you want it for? Nothing. OK, so we're going to put it back in the freezer for a rainy day. Right, I need you to listen to what I've got to say, right? I need you to listen out for what I've got to say. I only want you to do what I tell you to do. And let's, should we make nuggets in under 10 minutes? Yeah. OK. Right, what we'll do is, Ben, go and put those in the oven. <coughs> do you know where that chicken came from? It's Brazilian chicken. This, this is British chicken, OK? So what, what lessons have you just learned in this last three minutes? It's cheaper and easier to do that. about British chicken. OK. And healthier. healthier. Okay. Yeah. Um, and cheaper. Cheaper. And also, what happens if you spend money on British chicken rather than foreign chicken? You know where chicken? it comes from? It's fresh. It's fresh. And it supports the farms. Brilliant. The Perfect. British farms. That's British exactly farms. what we're doing. Okay. Now listen, please go to your sections and wait for me to tell you what to do. If you do what I say, in ten minutes we'll be eating lovely homemade nuggets. I want you to get your one large gas hob on, please. Put it on just under full whack. Get your largest pan on the medium heat on the big hob, OK? Who's never touched raw meat before? Put your hands up. Hands up high if you've never touched raw meat. Right, one of you, OK. OK, I want you to unwrap your chicken, right? I want you to put your chicken on the plastic board only. You never ever want to mix raw chicken with anything like salads or cooked meats, OK? Never. You'll get your... Because if it's got salmonella, you know, you could transfer that to the cooked meat, then you eat it, and then you've got it, and you've got a problem, OK? So always keep cooked and uncooked separate, OK? So, dead simple. We're going to use this knife, everyone, and you're doing this in pairs, OK? Who knows what a centimetre looks like? OK, the thickness of your little finger. I want you to slice the chicken a centimetre thick. Then just cut it into sort of nice nugget-sized pieces. When it gets thicker, then you slice it um, a centimetre thick. Now, you want them to be sort of big enough to look nuggety, yeah? So make sure it's a nugget size. The next stage, I want you to put, uh, with a hand that hasn't touched the chicken, 
A nice generous pinch of salt and pepper on the chicken. And mix that up with your hand, but do not put it back in the salt and pepper afterwards. Because then you're putting the raw chicken on your salt. You don't want that. Salt and pepper on the chicken, then mix it up. Now, you can see you've got bags next to you. Get the bag of flour, guys. And put the chicken into the flour. And then zip it up and just gently shake it about. Now leave the chicken, now go to the egg. Take the egg out of the bag, tap it on the side, and then crack it back into its bag. And then throw away the egg shell. Then put your hand in the bag of egg and whisk it up with your fingers. Uh, I need to go back into the bag, shake off the flour off the chicken, and put it in with the eggs. So go into the flour chicken, shake off the excess flour, and put it in with the eggs. OK. Once you've got the flour chicken in the bag, mix it up with the eggs, guys, yeah? Mix the eggy chicken up, yeah? So mix up the chicken really well. OK, the next stage is put the eggy chicken in with the breadcrumbs. So just, yeah, just drop it in to the bag. So that's the same amount of chicken, one egg, a little bit of flour, and some breadcrumbs. That's £1.90. That's enough chicken for a family of four. Right? So it's the same quantity as the, as the, as the pre-bought stuff. Now I want you to shake around the nuggets in the breadcrumbs, guys. You can get rid of your flour and egg bags in the bin. Look at that, that's easy. Put this one in the bin then, I can do that. In it, I'm going. <laughs> it's really important that we make sure that the, chick the chicken is really coated in the breadcrumbs, OK? Now, what I want you to do is empty the chicken and the breadcrumbs onto your board and get the chicken and make sure it sticks to all the breadcrumbs, yeah? So get your little nuggets of chicken and just lay it on the breadcrumbs. You don't want to see any egg. That's it, that's good boys. Yeah. What you can do yeah. is you can pat, just pat them, fret, uh, pat them flat, it makes them flatter, it makes them cook quicker, and it makes the breadcrumbs stick to it. Okay. Doing well. Lay it out on your tray. Okay guys, everyone listen up. Put your chicken and your breadcrumbs onto the tray and pat them down flat and with the breadcrumbs on, okay? So, that's it. Yeah, so, that went into that. Bread Everyone have a look at this, please. Right, this is what we're looking for right now. We want chicken in flour, <laughs> then egg, then breadcrumbs, looking like this. Pat it out flat. You're doing very well as well, darling. Brilliant, looks great. Right, guys, are we ready to cook? Yeah, Okay, now I want you to turn the heat up on your pan to sort of nearly high, right? I want you to put about one or two tablespoons of olive oil into the pan. And then I want you to pick up your nuggets one by one and put them into your pan and sort of drag them through the olive oil. So I want you to put a little bit of olive oil, two tablespoons, in the pan. Try and get them all in at the same time so they cook at the same time. Nice and quick now, guys. Remember, we're racing the uh, dodgy nuggets. Right, we got chicken going in, guys. Say yes or no. Yeah, it's all in. Got it all in, mate. Chicken nuggets, done. <laughs> right, guys. If it's starting to colour too much, turn the heat down.
So guys, get yourself a fork and turn the nuggets over. Oh my days, they're burnt. Oh, oh no. It's just well done, that's all. It's just well done. They're meant to be like this. Yeah, it's what we want them We're like. We're doing this on purpose. Yeah, we want them properly cooked. Well done chicken. Yeah. It's no, like, none of this just medium rare. Yeah, none of that golden brown nonsense. No, no one likes Ooh. golden brown. Black, well done. Turn all the chicken over, guys. Use a fork or a pair of tongs. They should be nice and golden, not black. <laughs> If it needs a little bit of olive oil, you can put a little bit more in. I need you to focus now on turning those nuggets beautiful and golden. In theory, by the time they're beautiful and golden on both sides, they will be cooked through, OK? So let's just... If it's going too fast, turn the heat down, OK? This is called heat control. Whoever's not cooking and turning, wipe down so we're doing nice and clean. If you go in the cupboard underneath you, there'll be plates. Get yourself one plate, please. If they're golden on both sides, remove them to a plate. When your nuggets are golden brown on both sides, a little sprinkle of salt, put them on a plate, and then come and see me, please. OK. OK, guys. Put them on a plate, guys, not a bowl. <laughs> and then turn your gas stoves off. OK, let's have a look. Brilliant. Yeah, very good. A little bit caught, brother, so slightly lower temperature. Ben, can you go and get those nuggets out of the oven, please? Guys, can you come down now, please? OK. First things first, right, I want you to rip open one of your chicken nuggets. I've got that hot. Well, ideally not one that's rosa hot. Now, if you just split it open like that, yeah, see, see when I open that, it's crispy on the outside and it's like flaky and beautiful and shiny on the inside, yeah? yeah? Right, now I want you to open one of these cheap, horrible nuggets and I want you to look inside that. Oh. It's Bob and Stu, isn't it? Now, do you notice the colour looks almost grey compared yeah. to your chicken? Yeah. It's nice and white. And look at the texture, it's not really like chicken, is it? No, it's like fluff. <laughs> right, now smell your nugget and then smell the other one. Your, your one should sort of smell quite clean. That smells yeah. fresh. And then the other one smells a bit dirty. <laughs> right, now guys. I want you to take, if your chicken's nice and white and cooked like that, and feel free to come and have some of mine, darling. Come down, come down. Come, get, get involved. There you go. Have a look. I want, right, I want you to taste. Now, the reason, you might be thinking, when you go home today and they say, what did you cook with Jamie? You say nuggets, they're going to be a bit shocked, OK? But the point is, guys, we still did that quicker than these, right? And we made them, and it was the first time, and it was messy, yeah? And you're all talking, right? We did it 10 pence cheaper. Right, and can you tell the difference? Just taste your one and then taste this one. And also, if you want to just see how nice you can make it, squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on your one and see how nice it tastes. Can I try one of yours? Mm. Oh, mate. Mm. <laughs> you tried it, bruv? Bruv, you tried it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a bit of lemon? I've one of these, No, no, I don't do that. And what's that? Put your hands up if you think the homemade ones tasted way better than the other yeah. ones. Yeah. Right, OK. So these are more expensive, yeah? These took longer. There's less chicken in them. There's less chicken in them. And the chicken nuggets. And it's from England. And we know okay. where it's come from. 
So your homework today is I'm going to give you a bag of these ingredients. You're going to go home and you're going to cook them for your family. <coughs> and if possible, film it on your, on your phone. Make, make it a complete meal. So put some veg and some salad and stuff with it so as well. Nice. Um, Take a picture. Guys, what did you, did you like that lesson? Yeah. 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 What was rubbish about it? Nothing. 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 Yeah. Did you find it hard that there's so much talking going on? No. no. <laughs> You're so used to it, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so are you happy? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly, before I break you for lunch, because I'm half an hour over, so I'm going to get a telling off for this. First day, though, right, how thickly did you slice the chicken? Right, what did I put on the chicken next? <laughs> the flour. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Then what? Flour. Then what? Flour. Then what? Egg. Then what? Uh, bread crumbs. And then what did we do in the pan? No, push no, it down. Push it down. Push them down. Put yeah. Flatten it out. Flatten it out. Push it down. And then we had a hot pan. What did we do with the hot pan? Put oil. Dragged it in the oil. A little bit of olive oil, oh, right? Yeah, and then you look after it. Now, guys, one of the things I saw you were guilty of nice. was some, right? There's not. There actually is. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Right. That's almost perfect. A little dark, and that's a little caught. If it's too hot, what do we do? Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Or remove it from the heat. You are in control. Was that lesson useful to you? Yeah. 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 Can you do that tonight on your own? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Will you do a nice little salad and stuff with it? Because I was supposed to. I was supposed to do a chopped salad, but I was so rubbish that I didn't get to it. Okay. Do a nice little salad. Guys, you happy? Yeah. Right. Let's have a quick clean down, and then we'll break for your next lesson.